Whether you're prone to dings and pranks or you fear a zombie apocalypse, you may be wondering whether you can purchase an armored vehicle. Believe it or not, plenty of armored vehicles exist even if many are not available on the open market. From a tactical vehicle with IED protection to a personnel carrier with power and security, here are 15 armored vehicles you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Patriot 2. Whether you're in the military or just in need of a lot of protection, then the Patriot 2 all-purpose armored vehicle might be for you. This modular vehicle was created by the Czech car manufacturer Tatra Trucks, and it's probably one of the most unique vehicles you'll ever see. It ticks all the boxes for comfort, reconnaissance, deployment, and patrols, and even serves a purpose as a medical vehicle and for command, communication, and as a weapon systems carrier. Is there anything this vehicle can't do? You can mount turrets on it, use grenade launchers, or even equip it with a mortar or guided missiles. But you can't use all those things without a sturdy chassis. And this thing has that. It uses a Tatra chassis with a swing axle, four-wheel drive, and a central backbone tube. Even being able to hold up to 17.5 tons, it can climb 45 degree angles with no problems at all. This is in part due to the power from the water-cooled Cummins ISL Euro 3 motor, which allows it to reach top speeds of 110 kilometers on the road and 45 kilometers off the road. Basically, if you want an armored vehicle that can do almost anything, this is the one for the job. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. Now this is one mega cool car. Looking like a real-life NASCAR vehicle, this car was built for a new film. It's one of three cars based on the racing version of a Chevy Impala with some pretty funky blue, red, and green colors. But which movie were these cars for? Can you guess? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. The Dagger. You don't get a name like The Dagger if you're not a sweet ride that everyone wants to own. The Dagger is a light protected vehicle that has been used in the French Army for some time. While it's not the most heavily armored vehicle, it can provide protection for a crew of four with mine floor protection. There's also something quite unique about this 4x4 vehicle, which will surely make you want to get your hands on it. It's autonomous. This means it's fitted with control and sensor systems that let you operate it via remote control on a set path. The beauty of this feature is that one soldier can operate the vehicle from outside it without any help from those inside it. They can also be deployed in all manner of terrain types, and during the day and night. Imagine being able to pop your friends and family inside a vehicle, then take full control of it while you sit at home on the couch. That's cool beyond words. Of course, this is a military vehicle though, so there's probably no chance of that ever happening. Number 13. Gerlock. It goes without saying that armored vehicles of days gone by aren't always equipped with the latest and greatest tech. Even weapons of today are far more advanced than they used to be, which means vehicles need to be tougher to deal with them. And that's where the Gerlock comes in. This armored tactical 4x4 vehicle, which is just a concept at this stage, takes on board new combat and safety factors. It is the brainchild of Zetor Engineering CZ and could spell a new era in armored vehicles. There are plenty of reasons why this vehicle stands out from the crowd. First of all, it's reliable. It also has modular armored protection, an ergonomic and comfortable design, and plenty of safety features. There's a safety cabin, level 3 ballistic protection, and anti-mine protection as well. Drivers can also enjoy peace of mind from the modular armor plating with a double floor anti-mine shield. It can reach a top speed of 117 kilometers per hour. 
even though it can weigh between 12.5 and 14.5 tons. It also has a 220 liter fuel tank that offers an 800 kilometer range. There's definitely plenty to love about this new armored vehicle. Number 12. The Maurice 8 by 8 there's always been a high need in military forces for an armored vehicle that could be incredibly mobile, versatile for different units, and hardened for mines. The Barry's 8x8, which was unveiled at KDEX 2016, was designed to tick all those boxes. Because it has such a unique design, it has a variety of weapon systems to suit armored forces worldwide. When it was shown off for the first time, it was kitted out with a Russian automatic cannon remote weapon station, but it can also suit remotely controlled gun turrets and 7.62mm coaxial machine guns. The eight-wheeled vehicle is as cool as they get. It can carry 11 military personnel at once, which includes a gunner, driver, and commander. It also has a supreme level of protection to make it resistant to Matador and Marauder mines. That's probably why it weighs a whopping 19,000 kilograms, or 41,888 pounds. When it was unveiled, the Ministry of Defense of Kazakhstan was in the last stages of evaluating it as a combat vehicle for their armed forces. They wanted to try it during both winter and summer to make sure it was suitable for all extreme conditions. Number 11. The Viper Militaries around the world are always looking for superior armored vehicles that can travel long distances through challenging terrain. The Viper MRAP might just have the winning recipe. This standout 4x4 mine-resistant personnel carrier can travel up to 1,500 kilometers, or 932 miles, across all manner of terrain types. But the benefits don't end there. Its mine resistance is bound to give the occupants peace of mind, as will the automatic transmission and independent suspension. There are so many cool features to love. Mobile Land Systems designed and manufactured the Viper. They are developers for both commercial and military military products and tech in the UAE. They put the new Viper up for display at the IDEX International Defense Exhibition and Conference in 2019 in Abu Dhabi, and all things considered, it went well. The General Maintenance Corps carried out tests on it in the Summer Trials 2018 and were so impressed by how much distance it could cover and the terrain it was able to tackle. It sure looks different from many other military vehicles as well. It has an all-welded steel hull that you can get with ballistic and blast protection, and it has a robust four-wheeled chassis. You can even buy it with chemical, radiological, biological, and nuclear filtration systems, not to mention fire suppression and detection units. Number 10. Bomb 4x4 Any armored vehicle can provide protection for those within it. In saying that, some do the job a little better than others. That's why many military units may be keeping a close eye on technology and aerospace company Paramount Group. Late in 2019, they announced their Mbom 4x4 had received its final certification for blast tests, offering some of the highest protection achieved by armored vehicles in its class. So Mbom 4 has been specifically designed with burst speed in mind. That's a pretty standout achievement, and one that many military units will probably see as valuable for keeping their troops safe. Of course, to get such certification, they had to undergo rigorous testing. This testing included using three 10kg TNT explosives under the holes and wheels, and a 40kg side blast test. These were carried out 5 meters away to imitate an IED. Clearly, those tests were successful, but it's not only this feature that makes it stand out. It has a unique rear door ramp design, which makes it easier for crews to deploy while the vehicle is moving. It can also travel up to 800 kilometers at speeds of up to 140 kilometers an hour in some pretty tricky terrain. Number 9. Ajban Armored Vehicle the 4x4 armored vehicle, known as the Ajban 447A, was unveiled during IDEX 2019. Its firepower, mobility, and high survivability levels it offers definitely make it a desirable armored vehicle. It has a customizable configuration in the cabin, making it versatile for different units like special forces, counterinsurgency, border patrol, and more. It also has scalable levels of protection against ballistics, mine blasts, and IEDs, so each military unit can choose what level of protection they need. 
This vehicle also has independent suspension, which allows it to give its users a comfortable ride, even across some pretty tricky terrain. It also makes sure that even at full capacity, everyone is comfortable. There are four doors for easy access, a ballistic protected windscreen and side windows, and ergonomic seating. Who'd have thought that a rugged armored vehicle could prove to be so comfortable and luxurious? The Ashban even offers different military units the opportunity to add the equipment they need to do their job. This includes things like a Plat M550 weapon mount, minigun, and an automated obscurance system. Number 8. Milkor 4x4 Those who attended the Africa Aerospace and Defense 2018 International Defense Exhibition in September 2018 in Centurion, South Africa, bit of a mouthful, were in for a real treat. This was where the Milkor 4x4 was unveiled, a new armored personnel carrier developed by South Africa defense vehicle manufacturing company Milkor. When designing this vehicle, Milkor made sure it would meet the infantry carrier requirements that African Continent Armed Forces had. So you could use it for transporting troops, riot control missions, casualty evacuation, and more. It's an all-around handy armored vehicle to own. There are plenty of standout features, which is why it didn't take long for the first orders to roll in. It's stable, flexible, incredibly strong with a monocoque hull, and can travel at speeds of up to 110 kilometers with a 1,000 kilometer or 621 mile range. What's more, it has a unique hull, which is split into two sections with a front crew compartment and a rear extension. The rear offers easy seating arrangements for troops to dismount with ease. It can comfortably cater for up to eight people in multiple configurations for police, ambulance, and command. Number 7. Fortress You don't call a vehicle a fortress unless it really does function almost as if it is a fortress. This 4x4 armored vehicle is bound to grab your attention. It's known officially as the Arcu Fortress and was built by a French manufacturer called Arcu Defense. What stands out immediately about this vehicle, at least to its drivers, is its balance of power and weight. It drives beautifully on roads and off the roads, and suits many different military units. Its comfort and smoothness are perhaps a little surprising, given how many robust materials have gone into its creation. But the thing is about special forces, first it's mobility. It features an all-welded hull for maximum protection, and it can hold up to eight people within it. It also has plenty of equipment and systems to put to good use, like radio and intercom, crew monitors, and battle management systems. It's as advanced as they get, with a touchscreen operator tablet, video coder, four cameras, a GPS antenna, and a controlled network slash ethernet gateway. Basically, it puts our residential runabouts to shame in this regard. You can also purchase this 14.5 ton fortress with any number of weapon systems, along with a 340 horsepower engine and automatic transmission system. Number 6. Inca's Superior This angry-looking armored vehicle is probably gonna jump to the top of your Christmas wish list. When you compare it to other military and armored vehicles, there's just something about it. Almost like it has an extra attitude. Known as the Inca Superior, it's a four-wheel drive armored vehicle with an international inline six diesel engine creating 330 horsepower. You can zip around at speeds of up to 80 miles an hour. Sure, it's not the speediest vehicle around, but think about all that heft it's carrying. It has a BR-7 armor level that can stop high-power rifle fire and explosions from hand grenades. Up to 14 people can pile into it, and it has a very cool hydraulic ramp at the rear. Inside looks like something out of an awesome video game with red LED strips and a black interior. Even better is the prospect that maybe not just the military can own this vehicle. It has turn signals and mirrors, and we've heard reports that everyday people have purchased them in Michigan. So maybe you could get your hands on one as well. Number 5. Scorpion AFV How cool is this? I mean, honestly, those wheels, that color scheme, that clean sheet design that epitomizes armor and speed. We just can't get enough of the Scorpion AFV. This mine-resistant truck was unveiled in 2015 by the Strike Group, and just 
Wow. As far as off-road trucks for protection goes, the Scorpion is leading the way. This truck has Stan Ag 2 ballistic resistance, but newer models have even stronger armor that can resist both roadside bombs and heavy machine gun bullets. Now that's cool. It also has a Cummins diesel engine with automatic transmission and it produces 350 horsepower. Its double wishbone suspension system allows for a smooth ride, as do the run flat tires. As far as heft goes, it's actually not as heavy as it looks. It's just 12 tons, which is a lot less than other armored vehicles. Up to nine people can fit into it with access to the rear via a swing door. You can also mount a machine gun and observation turret over the roof hatch, which is so cool. Can you tell that we're in love with the Scorpion? I don't think it was obvious at all. Number four, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. It's never nice to know that a new tactical vehicle has been produced on the back of some mistakes of previous models. But that's the reality for the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, or JLTCV, for the United States military. This vehicle replaces the Humvee and is considered a higher survival vehicle with greater payload. The GLTV program supposedly includes lessons learned from previous programs and has evolved considerably. Everything from armament carrying to command and control, ambulance, tactical, and logistics can be taken care of with the JLTV. Military units can also choose from two levels of armor protection, depending on what their requirements are. The JLTV program winner in 2015 was the LATV from Oshkosh. This company was approved a production contract for close to 17,000 JLTVs, and then full production was approved in mid-2019. It's pretty obvious why these JLTVs come out as winners. They are six-speed automatic vehicles with a 300-mile operational range and a maximum speed of 110 miles per hour. They also have a 6.6-liter .6 diesel engine with a power-assisted front axle steering system. The U.S. military is bound to put these vehicles to good use. Number 3. Legion 4x4 Legion or Legend, you decide. We think this armored 4x4 military vehicle is pretty legendary. It's a mine-resistant and ambush-protected vehicle brought to the military market by Isotrex, based in the United Arab Emirates. It was first unveiled at the 2017 IDEX International Defense Exhibition and definitely gained a lot of attention. It has a heavy-duty military chassis for difficult climates and terrains, yet it remains comfortable for the crew. Even better, it offers plenty of protection against both mine threats and ballistics. Doesn't get much cooler than that. Or does it? You can reconfigure this vehicle to suit a variety of missions, so it's a pretty versatile armored vehicle. It can prove useful for the special forces and as a personnel carrier, ambulance, cargo carrier, and more. Even its weaponry range is extraordinary. It comes with a full weapon station, including a one-person open-top turret for small arms and gun ports. Drivers can also benefit from a central tire inflation system, run-flat system, self-recovery winch and rear towing hitch, and automatic fire extinguishing system. Why can't our everyday runabouts be this cool? Number 2. Buran you might think that nothing good has come out of 2020, but the Buran 4x4 for military use is proof that that's not quite the case. This awesome military vehicle comes from the Moscow-based luxury car maker Rita, who is now branching out into combat vehicles. It also adds a little bit of class and elegance to what could easily be yet another boring armored vehicle. Buran means blizzard in Russia, and there are seven models for military units to choose from. There are also three extra models for cargo and another one for medical emergencies. Rita really is holding nothing back. They come fitted out with YAMZ diesel motors, which can allow the vehicle to drive up to speeds of 60 miles per hour with an 870 mile range. The armor encompassing this vehicle can withstand both 5.56mm and 7.62mm assault rounds, not to mention mines, courtesy of ambush protected layers. The weapon's accessory range is a bit vague, but there is space for manual or remote machine guns and four roof hatches with roof handlebars. There will be plenty of people who want to get their hands on one of these bad boys, and I'm one of them. Number 1. Nimmer Jace 
Mines continue to be a huge problem for those who put their lives on the line to protect our country. That's why armored vehicles like the Nimmer Jace, previously known as N35, are very desirable. This armored vehicle was manufactured by the defense company Nimmer Automotive, based in the United Arab Emirates. It's designed to provide protection against mines with advanced armor. The jets provides the balance. But that's not all that's impressive about this sweet ride. You can purchase it with a 6x6 configuration and various layouts to make it suitable as a weapons carrier, command post vehicle, infantry fighting vehicle, and an ambulance. You can also add one and two person turrets with weapons up to 20 millimeter caliber. The initial 4x4 design has three main parts that make up the vehicle. There's a driver area at the front, an engine on the left, and a troop compartment in the rear. Because the engine is fitted into the side, there's no nose on this vehicle. Perhaps one of the most noteworthy points about the Nimmer Jace is its survivability. The Crew Citadel Protection System offers protection against ballistic threats, mines, and IEDs, all thanks to the ballistic steel and V-shaped mine protection hull. You've got to admit, there's a lot going on in this vehicle. Well, if you purchase one of these vehicles, then you'll likely never have to pop out a dent ever again. Some of these are as solid as a rock. If you had to pick any of them and money wasn't a problem, which one would you buy? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!